Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Princess Renny here and I'm so excited to have you guys. Um, happy Easter, happy Good Friday, um, depending on when you're watching this video and of course depending on when I actually post it. But um, I, it has been heartbreaking to know that this is a year that I will not be able to teach um, my kids for Easter Sunday and um, it would have been an awesome discussion with them. We kind of started it when we were talking about Palm Sunday, we were talking about the events that unfolded leading up to um, the crucifixion of Jesus Christ and they remembered so much from last year which I was very excited about that God still allowed them to remember um, that material that we learned a whole year ago. So um, that was great but but um, I feel like this year God is leading me to teach them a little bit more um, things that they can take with them and they can teach to like anyone that they meet. So, sorry, give me a second. So I said, what about what the purpose of it is? And they understand the season. They understand that, you know, Jesus Christ died for our sins, right? But then there were questions about if Judas knew Jesus Christ and he was with Jesus Christ the entire time when he was saving all these people and healing the sick and raising the dead and all of these things, how can he still turn away? And my response to them was that, you know, um, unfortunately, there's people in the world that, you know, we're so caught up with the worldly things, right? And like myself included, like, you know, we want to look nice, we want to present ourselves a certain way um, in front of other people. And for Judas, he did it for money. And, you know, sometimes some people hold money as more valuable than God himself. And, like, me just saying that, like, it hit me because I was like, okay, so what materialistic things do I have in my life that I'm holding at a higher level than God? And he's just, like, revealing things to me through this um, quarantine time that we're, like, home and we have all the time in the world. And, um, yeah, he definitely, like, revealed to me that, you, you need to get your life together. Like, you really need to get your life together. So, um, with, like, responding to them, I was able to share that, you know, like, in the world, hopefully you guys don't have to deal with these things, but this is how the world works. Like, people are, you know, their intentions are pure, and for them, they hold materialistic things at a higher level or higher standard than God himself. So um, we were just doing some self-purging and like trying to figure out, okay, so do you value maybe like, let's talk about going to church, right? Is there sometimes you wake up in the morning and instead of feeling like going to church, you're like, mm, I'm tired, I wanna go back to bed. Or my video game, I didn't get to finish playing it yesterday. Like, I wanna go play. And that like that's something as little as that. and with judas it's true like he was with christ the whole time and he saw everything that christ did and yet he chose to turn away and he chose to sell him out and like i had to go in prayer about it because i was like god you revealed to me your plan like for this part of my life like you revealed to me what's gonna happen right and because i saw something else happening or i wasn't too sure you know we have our doubts like let's be real i had my doubts about it and i chose to take matters into my own hands and now i don't even know that i'm gonna get that thing that i'm looking forward to anymore like i don't know if it's gonna happen because i went and i jeopardized what you said and i think about the children of israel when god sent moses to um, help free them and bring them into the promised land and how they continue to disobey God's word and they continue to complain. They could continue to um, be dissatisfied with the season that they were in, that God had to let it be prolonged for 40 years. And then even so, those people, the original people that were walking and complaining and turning away from God, they did not even get to see the promised land. And even Moses, it's just, it goes to show that Sometimes we get so impatient with certain things. Sometimes, even though we know, we know this is what God is telling me. Like God said it, I believe it, it's mine. But then on the other hand, you have like doubt, fear, disappointments, people, you know, thoughts, all these other things in place 
here that's like you tend to try to piece things together but like i don't know how this lines up i would see the calculation you know I, this is what's happening right now and this is what you're telling me i don't understand it but god's plan and his will for your life is ultimately like what's gonna happen and i know i'm super dramatic right now but it's true like whatever god has willed for us like that's what's gonna happen that's what we need to focus on not the things that are being presented to us here take a step back and like realize like oh, i don't have my life figured out like i need to relax and just like go and like let god lead you know so um with that being said not but um so like i know what god's plan is but like i don't know his plan but like i know what he told me i know his word and um there the the other part that he wanted me to focus on was like when he was on the cross and so we have jesus on the cross and we have the two thieves right next to him so jesus in the middle and he has two thieves so one of the thieves along with the crowd was like if you really are the son of man if you're really all of that why don't you just free yourself that's really what he was saying to jesus and <sighs> God, God bless. We tend to judge the thief or the people that were like saying to Jesus to crucify him, to like save himself or like making fun of him and stuff, not realizing that, you know, we were in that position. If we were there in those times, it probably would have been us. Like, honestly, I don't know. I really don't know. Like, I believe in God and I'm a firm believer in his word, but we tend to judge other people and their choices and the mistakes that they made um and we spend so much time focusing on what that thief did or what those people did not realizing that the crucifixion of christ had to happen so we can be here today so we can live here today so we can be freed and so we can be healed and delivered from every sin every curse every disease everything that is not of god he has died so that we can be closer to god so that we can have that relationship with god because you know god is god cannot dwell among sin you know he loves us and he forgives us but he hates sin so because of that we cannot be you know contaminated with that sin we have to cleanse ourselves and every time we make a mistake we have to make sure that we're surrendering to god and being genuine about it as well so the thing about it is that the other thief like let's forget about those people for a second and let's think about the other thief you know like he, he was on his last breath like this was his basically the end of his life right now you know and he was just like you know do not forget me you know when you're in paradise like he believed even though he might not know god's word he still believed that jesus really was the son of man he really believed that he is god's begotten son he is the messiah right so because of that Jesus was able to say, today, you will be with me in paradise. Amazing to see that because God gives us the free will, right? We can choose today who we'll serve. Are we going to serve the devil or are we going to serve God, right? And he gives us that free will. If he chose, you know, to have doubt and to condemn Christ and to um, not believe. But the other thief that chose to believe, and chose to trust God, right even though he messed up even though he was living in sin he was able to confess and say i believe and because of his belief because of his faith like that's all god is asking us for of course he wants us to trust in him and trust in his word and everything that he said and promised us but the only way we'll get there to that promise is by believing and walking in faith right so i say this to encourage each and every one of you guys to like Really get into God's word, not just on Easter, not just on Good Friday, not when it's a special, just because it's a special holiday. We have all the time in the world now. We're home or if we're not home, um, there's less, less travel time that we're doing. There's less, there's reduced hours at most of some of your jobs. If you're an essential worker and you have to be out and you're still working the same amount of hours, even as you're leaving, even as you're on the job, like plead the blood of Jesus upon yourself and continue to think even as you're it's very unfortunate at this time that there's so many lives that are being lost and you know it, it's it's definitely hard to take in like 
I've had friends that have been so close to me lose their parents and um, I have family members that are not well and you know we try to be strong we try to remain faithful and trusting God and what he's promised us and like that's all we can do at this point and just pray and pray and pray and continue to deliver God's word continue to do what he's telling, calling us to do like we don't know when our time is going to be and you know hoping that I'm going to be around for a while to do everything that God has called me to do I want to live a life that is uh serving him and I encourage you guys to do the same like really search deep within yourself and search within God's word and find out what it is that he's asking you to do, right? Um, and it starts with believing. It starts with trusting in him and his plan for your life. And it starts with accepting him, accepting that he is the Messiah, that he is the son of God who was sent down to save us from our sins. And through his crucifixion, you know, because of the blood that he shed, you know, we can be, we can be delivered, right? We can be set free. Um, the stripes that he took on his back, the 39 stripes are for our healing. And because of that, every sickness, every disease, um, COVID-19, like we can plead the blood of Jesus against it. And we can know that God is in control and he is a healer and we are healed, right? There's family members that I've like prayed over, whether it's like my personal family members or my friend's family members. And like they have been delivered. And I'm not saying it's because of my prayer. I'm saying it's because God promised in his word that he is a deliverer and that he's a healer by his stripes we're healed so because of that you just have to repeat god's word back to him like remember when you said that he told us to try him to see if his word really is true try him and see if he will not deliver us try him and see if he will not open up the windows of heaven afford a blessing that will not have room enough to contain it try god try god today Try it today. Don't wait until it's too late. Don't wait until next year. Don't wait until the uh, COVID-19 clears. Like, try today. He has a plan for you. If you have backslidden or if you've messed up in any way, know that God still loves you and he still opens his arms so wide, ready to receive you. I've made mistakes. I'm sure you've made mistakes along the way. I'm sure your pastor has made mistakes along the way. No one is perfect. Stop condemning yourself. Stop making yourself feel like you're not worthy right because you are because god loves you and you're his and he thought you were worth saving and he was willing to sacrifice his life for you and for that today i am grateful i'm so grateful that you know despite what i might have said despite what what i might have did despite what i might have thought god still loves me he still cares about me and he cares about you too and he loves you so dearly and um, I encourage you this time to turn away from whatever it is that's distracting you or holding you back from building that relationship with God and turn to him and trust in him. I know this video was supposed to be for my young ones, but I feel like this is a message that they would have said. They really would have told you, you know, there were two thieves, right? And they both had different views on who Christ was. So one of them didn't believe. He was like, save yourself, save yourself. And he laughed at him. He thought, you know, it was so funny. But then the other thief, he surrendered to God. And that's who I want to be. That's why I encourage every one of you to be. To surrender your life to God. Have the decision. Choose this day who you will serve. Are you going to serve the devil? And go to hell? Because hell exists. And they know that. They know that hell exists. So they'll tell you, and hell exists. Is that what you want to do? Or you want to serve God and draw closer to him and live forever in eternity with him. So choose death or choose eternal life. Today, the choice is yours. Who will you serve? Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to give it a, th a thumbs up. Also comment below um, any messages of encouragement in this time. I know like families are going through a lot and I just want to let you guys know that God is with you every step of the way. and He has a plan and he is in control. Even though it seems like the world is going in chaos right now, like there's order when we put our trust and our hope in God. And he is not a God of confusion and I want you guys to remember that. Like, where there's confusion, God is not in the midst of it. 
So um, right now, just lean closer to him, draw closer to him, and know that he's in control. I love you guys so much, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Be blessed, spread love, and stay beautiful inside and out. I will see you later. Bye, guys.